Roblox may be going downhill, but the users still come up with plenty of awesome games. The Left 4 Dead parody, Reason to Die, by Place Rebuilder, has the privilege of being the first game to be reviewed in this series. As you can see, Reason to Die has quickly climbed to the top of the most popular places of all time. Right now, it's trailing Mike D's unfortunately long abandoned Ultimate Paintball in second place, and Drewsome B's Heli Wars Desert Attack in first place. Personally, I don't see how Heli Wars even got past the top 10. Oh well. Reason to Die follows the same basic concept of Left 4 Dead. Four characters to play as Bill. Francis, Lewis, and Zoe, and a battle against the undead such as zombies, hunters, smokers, and even tanks. The survivors must fight off the undead until rescue arrives. If they die, they join the zombies and try to stop the survivors from, well, surviving. If the zombies kill all the remaining survivors before rescue arrives, the zombies win. If the survivors can hold out long enough for the rescue to come, they win. Simple as that. Zombies are regular fighters. Hunters are speed demons. Smokers drag survivors to their doom with their tongues. Tanks are huge, tough zombies that can throw concrete. And boomers? Well, they're pretty much worthless. Zombies don't tend to put up much of a fight when they're alone. Unless they're a tank or a smoker but you'd be amazed when they're in packs. Even zombies use teamwork. Hell yeah. Take that, you bitches. Now this is, oh my god. That is a lot of fire. Did I mention that people like to spam molotovs and pipe bombs? Ugh, what a fucking waste of a last resort. Pipe bombs and molotovs are intended as a last resort or when you're in some sort of emergency. They're not supposed to be spammed repeatedly. And if you plan to be a zombie, prepare to be spawn killed. A lot. Aw oh, fuck, they don't even give you a sporting chance. And sometimes the script that changes the camera glitches and you're looking out in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck am I supposed to be looking at? Even though the game does have its fair share of flaws, it's still definitely a game worth visiting. The game isn't every man for himself. There's always someone back there to help you out. Oh shit, this is bad. Phew. Thanks for that. I owe you one. Now let's kick some zombie ass. So I highly recommend this game if you want to try it. Oh shit! Good thing I'm indestructible. Bullshit.